You ever just sitting at your desk, working on your computer, and all of a sudden, ads, ads everywhere, ads, 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 so many ads, you don't even know if it is an advertisement or if you really did win that million dollars. Well, that's where I decided that I would use Pi Hole. I would use a Raspberry Pi to help block some ads. So what Pi Hole is, it's a open source software that you can install on your Raspberry Pi to help block all these advertisements, help improve cellular data. They even have an API, fancy graphs and everything. So what I did is I uh, went to their website and downloaded it and put it onto a Raspberry Pi B that I had laying, laying around. Yeah, Raspberry Pi Model B. And so here's just a little look, a little recap of what Pi Hole looks like. Um, you got your temperature, some Raspberry Pi data right there. You got all these graphs about queries, all these queries that happen, the top domains that you hit, top block domains that you hit. Um, it's pretty awesome. There's also on the side you can see you can whitelist, blacklist, disable, and do the settings. You can donate to these guys. They do really awesome work. Some awesome stuff. So. And let's see what else we can find out. Oh yeah, so here's just some more graphics you can uh, display. I don't know why they don't show up on mine. Uh, here, again, here's just all the queries that I hit. Uh, If you're unfamiliar with how to set up Pi Hole, that's not what this video is, just a little demonstration of what it does for me. But And one of the neat things about Pi Hole is it has an awesome API. And then here there you can do your DHCP settings and your DNS settings. Uh, a little bit more net networking, but the way that works is Pi Hole routes all traffic from your network and puts it onto your through your Raspberry Pi and then you know lets it access the internet. So you can block anything. Um, and if there are websites that you want to whitelist, you can definitely whitelist that. But going back, what I did is I utilized their API for my Raspberry Pi. And here you go. Uh, you can see I, I run a script that hits my Raspberry Pi, hits the API. And then here's uh, all of the summary for my Pi Hole. Um, this has all the DNS queries, so block domains, DNS queries, the percentage of ads that it blocks, the number of ads. I mean, unique domains, and then it's just enabled. There actually is a lot more to the API, but this is just all that I have right here. And then what I did is I have this Python script that always runs on my Raspberry Pi, just right here underneath my monitor. And on my Adafruit screen, I can just push the buttons, and I can see uh, the stats, all the domains blocked, percentages, uh, queries, and so forth, so forth. Now I'm gonna uh, update this script when I can, but this is just a little demonstration of. Uh, what you could do with the old Raspberry Pi, and this is what I do with mine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know if you what you guys do with your old Raspberry Pis.